It's a brand new reaction now from President Trump at this hour, firing back at claims from former advisor Amarosa Manigault Newman. Brand new hour starts right now. Hope you had a great weekend. I'm Bill Hemmer live here. How you doing, Julie? Yeah, we're going to jolt you See into you. your Monday morning. Here we go. All right. I'm Julie Banderas in for Sandra Smith. So White House officials are saying not only was her termination justified, but she's just trying to sell books. They are also raising alarms about national security. Uh, these bombshell revelations are the topic of today's newsroom news feed. A more explosive claim from former Trump White House aide Amarosa Manigault Newman. The big topic on the Sunday morning shows is Amarosa. The former senior White House advisor is now trashing the president in a tell-all book. I'm telling anyone who will listen that the president is a racist and a misogynist. Donald Trump is a con. When he talks that way, the way he did on this tape, it confirmed that he is truly a racist. I was complicit with this White House deceiving this nation. She has said that she was fired because she knew too much about a tape on which the president used the N-word. White House is firing back at former advisor Amarosa Manigault Newman. Low life. She's a low life. The low blow to write a book riddled with lies and accusations and insinuation, whether it's 30 pieces of silver or a seven-figure book advance. She's trying to sell books and settle scores. Legal action now possible over her secret Situation Room recording with Chief of Staff John Kelly. That could land her in some legal hot water. There is great concern here at the White House. What happens or so what comes from that remains to be seen. John Kelly gave her an opportunity to walk away with her dignity and respect. She brings a personal recording device into the Situation Room in the White House in massive violation of every security protocol. That should be the story right now. Let's bring in our headliner from a White House Press Secretary Sean Spicer, now Senior Advisor to America First Action. His new book is called The Briefing, Politics, the Press, and the President. Sean, how you doing? Good morning. And picked a pretty good news day. <laughs> good morning. Wow. Never <laughs> quiet around here. How was huh? your relationship with Amarosa? Uh, it was fine, I guess. Uh, I didn't really interact with her that much. She came and she'd sit in meetings from time to time. and. Um, it wasn't like we, we were close by any means. Here are the tweets from the president 34 minutes ago. Wacky Amoroso got fired three times in The Apprentice. Now got fired for the last time. She never made it, never will. She begged me for a job. Tears in her eyes. I said, okay. People in the White House hated her. She was vicious but not smart. I would rarely see her but heard really bad things. Nasty to people and would constantly miss meetings and work. When General Kelly came on board, he told me she was a loser and nothing but problems. I told him to, to try working it out if possible because she only said great things about me until she got fired. Is that the end of it? Well, think about this. She walked out of the, the, the White House after she was fired and sung the president's praises on multiple occasions, on video and print, et cetera. And then within weeks is public, you know, is, is peddling a deal with publishers to say anything that she could to make money on a book deal. So that tells you all you need to know about her. The reality is, is that when she left, she says that she, res she resigned. Now she says she was fired. When she left, she said that great things about the president. The first time she has to make money off of him again, she says quite the opposite. Over and over again, including on the interviews that she's given, she has just repeated false and uh, misleading things. As I mentioned yesterday on, on your air, the idea that she brought a personal recording device into the Situation Rooms says all you need to know about Amarosa. She will do anything. Uh, to further her own being as opposed to uphold the security protocols that guard our national security. You know, Sean, there's so many alarming details about this. Number one, just the fact that she has completely just turned her back on a man who has supported her career from way back in her apprentice days. But the number two, the security breach here. I understand she didn't technically break any laws, but it almost seems like there should be laws that have been broken here. This is a security detail, the situation room where cell phones are not allowed, where national security topics are discussed discussed highly sensitive information and she manages to get in there with a cell phone. Well, I mean, I think that part of the reason is that when you're granted or apply for a security clearance, you agree to uphold to the standards and policies and procedures that are set forth. Uh, there's a box at each end of the of the situation room when you walk in where you're supposed to, to not just put cell phones, but any kind of recording or wireless device, anything that has Bluetooth capabilities. And so you've got to wonder, she clearly went in there not just in violation of it because she carried the phone, right. but she had it on record. I mean, that that is an unbelievable violation 
of every security protocol that was put in place. And I, I assume she had to have filled out some kind of paperwork at multiple points right. during her employment, which this would have been a violation of. Speaking of paperwork, she also signed a non-disclosure. She went out there and adamantly supported the president. And first of all, she thought she was supporting a future president who was a racist. She wouldn't have done so. She wouldn't have taken a job there. She also signed a non-disclosure agreement. That is legally binding. This woman is in hot water. I don't believe this is over yet. Would right. But, but also, I mean, she started to make accusations about me yesterday uh, in my book, which are completely false and inflammatory. I mean, look, here's the reality. I signed. I left the White House September 1st of last year. I made an agreement to sign my to uh, pen my book in December. And I, I turned in that that work in May. I didn't join America first until June 15th. She claims that I was paid hush money. If so, she should provide evidence because I'd love to know where that money went. I didn't receive any hush money. I didn't join America First until June 15th. So, you know, I, I think I'll probably do a little of that hush money. Well, that well, you can, I, uh, I heard you make the comment that she never reached out to me and she should have and I would have given her a comment, but mm -hmm. uh, I never heard contact. Please sound bite number two, guys. Uh, you're going to hear a lot from her this coming week. It started on the Today Show on NBC this morning about lies inside the West Wing of the White House. As you'll How see in you Unhinged, I protected myself because this is a White House where everybody lies. The president lies to the American people. Sarah Huckabee stands in front of the country and lies every single day. You have to have your own back because otherwise you'll look back and you'll see 17 knives in your back. Kelly and Conway fired back with his 30 pieces of silver, a seven figure book advance for you. Sarah Sanders says this, the very idea of a staff member would sneak a recording device from the White House Situation Room shows a blatant disregard for national security than the brag about it on national television further proves the lack of character integrity of this disgruntled former White House employee. Late last night, Axios reports that everybody at the White House was afraid of her. Were they? I don't know they were afraid of her, but I think there was clearly rumors and concern about what, what came out to be true, which is, you know, there were always rumors that she was recording people. No one knew whether that was the case or not. And then there was a question about, you know, the level of integrity and trustworthiness that she had. But look, Bill, the, the bottom line is, is that, as I mentioned, she walked out of this White House talking about how great her experience was, how much admiration she had for the president, how much he had accomplished and how uh, pleased she was with her tenure there. It only took a few weeks for her to be bought off. And that just tells you everything you need to know about her. But the reality is to be going around the White House secretly taping people and then to top it all off, to bring a recording device into one of the most secure places that is supposed to exist, tells you everything that you need to know about her. She is untrustworthy, disloyal. And I think that, you know, Kellyanne and Sarah are right. It's, right. it's, it's just unbelievable. But here's the bigger issue that I have too, is these same news outlets that decry fake news, that talk about pursuit of the facts. Now prominently display her, why? Because she's going after the president. If she had written about her life and experience and continued to speak pleasantly about the president, one, I'm not sure it would have They wouldn't be covering up. it. But B, these same places would never have had her. Right. Um, all right, I wanna move on to a more pressing topic here. And this is Rudy Giuliani. He has essentially come out and said that the president would sit down with Robert Mueller. This debate has been going on since you were in the White House and continues. So now he's saying if it's after September First, he's not going to do it because of the midterms. He's also laid some groundwork out, essentially saying, look, if he does it, they'll talk about collusion with Russia in the 2016 election. They won't talk obstruction of justice. I want you to play uh, soundbite seven from Rudy Giuliani talking about how he wants an investigation of the Mueller investigation. Listen to this. But it begins with a phony dossier struck the Horowitz report, which basically casts all kinds of doubt on what happened with Hillary, and then those people are transformed to the counterintelligence investigation. It never produces a darn thing. I am now convinced that the initiation of the independent counsel was totally illegal. There's no crime that's alleged. We haven't seen any proof of a crime yet. Where is this going? Uh, that's a great question, right? So you mentioned it's been going on since I was there. The question is, at what point uh, this, this cloud that's hanging over the president's agenda is, is troubling because for 18 months we've been hearing about this uh, and yet they've, there's not been a single leak, a, a shred that there was any kind of collusion or evidence of, of, uh, of, of the sort. And I think it's about time that he either gets wrapped up or he puts his cards on the table because the president trying to focus on getting results for the American people and having this 
hang over them is not helpful. It's a waste of time. Uh, and I think that as soon as it can get wrapped up, the better. So I trust that, that the president's getting the counsel he deserves uh, to figure out how to put a conclusion to this. What do you think about that September 1 deadline that was thrown out over the weekend? Uh, have that deadline. If not, you know, the midterms intercede here and we're off for another several months, Sean. Right. I, I think, look, uh, the mayor's doing his job in making sure that this cloud doesn't continue to hang over the president as we head into these crucial midterm elections. Uh, so I'll let him decide what the terms are of when they'll talk and, and how long and about what. But he's right from the standpoint of that we cannot head into another midterm uh, with this kind of hanging over. It's been going on for a long time. Uh, and it's about time that, that the cards got laid on the table. Hope you come back, Sean. Good luck with the book, and thanks Good for being, you, our, being our headliner today. Sean thanks, Spicer, guys. don't be a stranger. You Thank you. Let